Ever notice when at your local market, food labels that say GMO free? In a way, this is the food manufacturer recognizing that GMO foods are not natural and most people do not trust it. So they put the label on to appeal to the more health conscious consumer. What's changing with a popular cereal? That's right, General Mills announced that they will start selling GMO-free Cheerios. The company decided to make the changes after a lot of comments on the Cheerios Facebook page about this. GMO-free means that no genetically modified ingredients will be used. It should be pretty important to almost anybody that eats. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big fan of anything genetically modified. Genetically modified organisms, or GMO for short, is a genetically engineered foods in where scientists isolate specific genes in plants and animals and insert into our food products to produce more desirable traits, such as foods grown larger or resistance to pesticides, for instance. However, GMO foods are subject to controversy where they're safe for long-term consumption as potential concerns are allergies and cancer. Massive tumors that developed on these rats after they ate genetically modified corn over their lifetime. GMO! Other Scientists, labs tried to replicate scientists. that study and found that it wasn't no, true. No, actually, that is not true. Yes. You want to ban it. Well, you want to ban want to give them the choice. Isn't that correct? Um, we, what we want to do is... I have no idea what potential health complications arise out of eating diets that are rich in GMOs. We are actively eating GMO products from our sugar in our coffee to soy and corn-based products lurking in their food and cooking oil. Chances are, we're completely unaware of it. So in this video, we're going to cover the top foods that are GMO and that you probably didn't know about. But before we go any further, please take a second to click the like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone you care about. Okay, let's get right on to it. Number 1. Soy is the undisputed number one crop that is the most heavily modified. According to the centralfoodsafety.org, up to 94% of all soybean in the U.S. have been genetically modified to be resistant to the herbicide Roundup. It is genetically modified to allow farmers to be able to apply more chemicals to kill the weeds, but unfortunately, these chemicals has also crept into the soy food products we consume. Oat-based breakfast foods marketed to children have dangerous levels of a chemical some health officials link to cancer. Group Scott Faber in August, talking about a study his group commissioned that found the weed killer glyphosate in dozens of breakfast products. We're very concerned that consumers are eating more glyphosate than they know. Now, a second round of testing shows 28 more samples analyzed contain glyphosate residues. Every time we eat soy-based products such as soy sauce, tofu, or processed foods prepared with soy flour, we're not only consuming genetically modified foods, but there's also foods that may be loaded with chemical herbicides, which are harmful for us to consume. And just think about how much soy products are present in our foods, from soybeans, soy lecithin, used as preservatives, tofu, and soy milk. Before you think this is only an American thing, the U.S. is the second largest exporter of soybeans, which accounts for 30% of the world's supply which means American GMO soy-based products may be on the supermarket shelf at any place in the world that imports soybeans from the U.S. Number 2. Corn is the second on this list that's the most heavily modified food crop coming in at 92%. These percentages are available on the FDA website. Similar to soy, is a GMO corn that was created to show resistance to herbicides and produces protein that are poisonous to certain insect pests, but not to humans according to the FDA. Just to illustrate how much our food is derived from corn, I'm going to list a few common favorites such as beer, flour, salad dressing, margarine, tortillas, cornstarch, processed foods such as cereal, breads, chips, cooking oil, gravy mixes, corn flour, granulated sugar, and anything that includes the infamous high fructose corn syrup we have covered in their past videos. To put this into context, according to this article from New York Times, even Mexico imposed a ban of the GMO corn coming from the U.S. Mexico has been its biggest trading partner, which keeps demand and prices up. But Mexico's president wants to ban U.S. corn over its use of biotech or genetically modified grain. As they were trying to stop the consumption of GMO corn in the country, along with other herbicides. But yet, we Americans are continuously allowed to eat GMO corn-based products. Has to make you wonder. Number three. Canola. This one on the list possibly is perhaps the one that will be consumed by most, whether they know it or not. That is because this is one of the most used cooking oil, whether from whole cooking or when dining out at restaurants, fast foods, etc. 
Americans love their takeout and fried foods, and chances are they're most likely cooked or fried using canola oil. Canola is also used to make margarine, another American favorite. Now you may ask, why is this important? That is because up to 90% of canola crops in the US and Canada are GMO and have been genetically modified to be resistant to different herbicides and pests. Take a look at your own cooking oil you use at home. Is it canola or corn vegetable oil, both of which are most likely made from GMO crops? Just like all other GMO foods, the topic remains controversial on whether GMO foods can cause health issues on the long term. Researchers say a diet that includes canola oil is linked to problems with memory, learning ability, and weight gain in mice. The effects are similar to Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Domenico Pratico says, quote, canola oil is appealing because it is less expensive than other vegetable oils and it is advertised as being healthy. Very few studies, however, have examined that claim, especially in terms of the brain. Scientists plan on conducting another study to determine how canola oil impacts brain health in the short term. They also want to figure out if it causes the onset of other diseases. Number four, sugar beets. Let me ask you this. Did you know that more than half the sugar made in the U.S. comes from the GMO sugar beets? So yes, that means the granulated sugar you may purchase from your local supermarket shelves is very likely made with GMO sugar beets. The sugar you put in your coffee is part of GMO. The sugar for when you're baking desserts. The sugar in your donuts. The sugar in your bread. As you can see where I'm going, practically everything you consume will contain some kind of trace of GMO sugar. GMO foods touch every fabric of our life, whether you're aware of it or you think you're doing your part to avoid it. You might still be consuming GMO at the end of the day. Sugar beets are just one example. Okay, so most of our GMO foods are made from corn, soy, canola, and sugar beet. If you eat a packaged food that does not say non-GMO, it probably is a GMO food. Um, soy added to high protein bars and high protein cereals, as well as soybean oil, and of course edamame. Canola oil is used in many, many foods, and sugar beet, of course, used to sweeten food, but also in caramel coloring. Number five, salmon. A widely popular fish for consumption and considered a healthy food jam-packed with omega-3 fatty acids. Well, that applies for the wild-caught salmon, but what about the genetically modified salmon, or better known as the frankenfish? This time, the government is considering whether to allow the sale of food from a genetically altered animal, the FDA taking it up today. It looks like any other salmon, but opponents call it frankenfish and hope to keep it off your dinner plate. Here's the difference. Both these fish are 18 months old, but the larger genetically engineered Aqua Advantage salmon grows twice as fast as the regular salmon. Sounds like something straight out of a Halloween movie, but this is reality, not fiction. Looking no further than the FDA website, the FDA had approved Aqua Advantage GMO salmon back in 2018, where they genetically engineered the frankenfish to contain a growth hormone gene from the Chinook salmon and combined it with a promoter gene from the ocean pout, which is a different species of fish. This genetic engineering allowed the salmon to grow faster in a short amount of time. We covered this previously on our channel more extensively in this video. Now the question I have is, how we're able to identify if these are GMO salmon if we're shopping at the local supermarket? If you know, please leave your comments below. Oh, even less when you go to buy seafood. The FDA just approved a new genetically modified salmon. Chances are most Americans are already consuming futuristic foods. Genetically modified crops were introduced into our food supply in the 1990s. Aqua Bounty, the biotechnology company that created this new designer salmon, predicts a future of even more genetically modified animals in the food supply. With production now underway in the U.S., the company looks to win public approval. Farm to table, or in this case, from laboratory to fish farm to your local grocery store. The FDA is just approving the sale of genetically modified salmon, saying there are no, quote, biologically relevant differences in the nutritional profile, and that genetically modified food will be going on store shelves without a GMO label. Number six, zucchini. Whoever thought that consuming a fresh vegetable might not be as healthy as you thought? That is because zucchini has crossed over to the dark side, joined the list of GMO foods along with his cousin, the yellow summer squash. Both these fresh produce have been modified to resist specific plant viruses. I guess you can call these vegetables the GMO twin crops. We truly hope you found value in this video as we're trying to make you aware of what foods are GMO and some ways we consumers are kept in the dark on what's really in our food. 
The best recommended way to avoid GMO foods is to buy organic from a reputable source. Please make sure to spread this video with your friends, family, and on social media so they can be aware of what is in their food. Please also make sure to like the video and subscribe. And until then, stay informed. Ingenious Tomato out.